What's going on, Debbie? It's Dan Brock, the Debbie Super Affiliate here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Google Analytics to your Deadbeat affiliate sites. All right, so the reason why you want to do this is, well, two reasons. Number one, first of all, it's gonna give you an idea how many visitors per day your website is actually getting. All right, so Google Analytics is going to give you a very accurate representation of the real visitors that you get to your website per day. The second reason, and this is the most important, is it's going to allow you to fine tune your website to your overall audience. All right, so after you use Google Analytics for a while, you get a general idea of who all is visiting your website, basically the age of the person, uh, what browser they're working on, and specifically what pages they're visiting the most on your website. So with this data, you have a better idea of how to craft and form your website for your general overall audience. All right, so with, all, with that explanation out of the way, let's jump on into my computer and I'll walk you through step-by-step -step how to install Google Analytics very easily on your Deadbeat affiliate sites. Alrighty, let's jump right on in. All right, Deadbeat, so here I am at the Google Analytics homepage. So you can get there by going to google.com slash analytics. From here on the drop down, this could change depending on what time you view it, but I'm gonna go to Google Analytics and it's gonna make me sign up. So I'm gonna sign up. This is just with my regular, um, my regular Gmail, uh, my, my regular Gmail account. So let's just type in Deadbeat. Account name's gonna be Deadbeat University. You know, let's see if we can do Deadbeat. Deadbeat website names will be DeadbeatUniversity.com. So obviously you wouldn't be typing in Deadbeat University. You're gonna type in whatever your website URL is. I know that's common sense, but you'd be surprised how many people actually will type this in into their own account. All right, so I'm doing this for my Deadbeat University account. Let's select education. Where is it? Internet, telecom, jobs, education. That's close enough. Uh, time zone, I like to do Eastern. That's just where I live. Change yours, obviously, to where you're at. All right, data sharing. All right, so I'm going to uncheck these just because I'm kind of paranoid. It's up to you if you want to share your data. All right, so I'm going to get the tracking ID. All right, got to agree to the terms of services. And where's the button? Make it hide it, hide it. Yeah, hide it more. Where are you, button? Okay. Oh, it's the bottom of the screen here. All right, I accept. All right, page loading. Now, this is the information that I need. It's just this little tracking ID thing. All right, so I'm gonna head over to my WordPress dashboard for Debbie University, and I'm gonna go to plugins here, add new. And then from here, you can just type in Google Analytics. All right, so let's just go with this Google Analytics one. There's a few of them here. It's probably not that a big of a deal which one you use. Let's just go with the first one. What an advantage it is to be first here on the left, right? All right, so let's click activate plugin. And here's the plugin. Boom. All right, so from here, you're just gonna go to settings, Google Analytics, so that's the thing we just installed. Now all you do is copy this little tracking ID and paste it here, it's that simple. All right, save changes, and there we go. Let me just make sure that I have, uh, have this all set up. All right. All right, there we go, so let's go to home. Save preferences, make sure you save preferences on there. All right, so there it is, Google Analytics. All right, so this is a new site. What I'm gonna do now is just log into, uh, I'm gonna switch over to an actual site that one of my affiliate sites that's getting a lot of traffic and just show you um, the value of this data really quickly. So you'll see why this is important. All right, so here's one of my smaller affiliate sites and you can see it's getting about 70 visitors a day. I just wanted to show you the value of this data. All right, so. Let's check it out. One of the things you can do is see where your, your visitors are coming from. I like this a lot. It'll tell you where exactly they're coming from as far as like search engine traffic. Let's just click all traffic, um, sources, medium. So it gives you an idea of basically where people are coming from. So here's some, you know, Google's a good, a big, a big one on this site. We have a, a few from Pinterest, not that big. Yahoo, a little bit from there. Um, so you can see that where people come from. So it might help you to hone in the traffic sources that you attack. Another thing it shows you is things like keywords, what keywords you're ranking for, so you can dig, uh, dig deeper with that. Another thing that I like mostly is uh, behavior, so you can see things like site speed. Site speed's very important for uh, getting better search engine rankings. Basically, the, higher, the faster your site loads, 
the higher you rank in Google. This is something I'll make a video about in the future. All right, another section that I really like in this tool is the demograph section. This is under audience and demograph. So this gives you an idea of who all, what type of audience is visiting your page. So from this, I can tell that the gender is um, majority female and they stick around a lot longer. So that's a good little piece of data. Females seem to uh, attract to this particular page for whatever reason. Another thing I like to look at is the age. So you can see here that there's a good spread on the age. It depends on your niche. There are other niches where older audiences might not be very attracted to the site or younger audiences might not be attracted to the site. So this data can tell you what age groups that you might want to target in your marketing. So you can write stuff specifically for that age group. And by, by doing this, this is going to allow you to relate more to your overall general audience that comes to your site. So there's all kinds of different things. Here's another great section to look at, and that is the technology, whether or not people are on mobile, desktop, or tablet. So you can see here on this particular page, the majority of my traffic is actually mobile and tablet. So it might be a good idea for me to go back to the site and make sure that it is mobile friendly. I know that this site is actually very mobile friendly, but this is something that you wanna look at. You'll actually notice that some niches have more mobile traffic than they do desktop and vice versa, depending on what niche that you're into. All right, so this is just some information that you can grab from Google Analytics and that you can use to fine tune your Deadbeat affiliate websites. All right, so that's how you install Google Analytics on your Deadbeat affiliate sites. Now, if you don't know how to create a Deadbeat affiliate site, check out my system at deadbeatsuperaffiliate.com. That'll walk you through step-by-step -step the process of tapping into Amazon, the Amazon affiliate network, and creating websites and getting traffic so that you can sell Amazon products on autopilot, things you can do in your spare time while you sleep. So you can get that at deadbeatsuperaffiliate.com. All right, Deadbeats, I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Share this video with your friends and comment below if you have any questions about installing Google Analytics, Deadbeat affiliate sites, making money online, or anything of that nature. My name is Dan Brock, the Deadbeat Super Affiliate, and I'll see you Deadbeats later.